Today I'm going to show you a couple of methods for how to factory reset your HTC 10. Now there could be a number of reasons of why you want to do a factory reset. After a couple of years you might find that your HTC 10 doesn't perform as well as it used to. This might be because you have hundreds of apps installed or for a whole bunch of reasons. You also might end up getting into a boot loop if you root and install certain root modifications that just aren't compatible with the HTC 10. Whatever your reason though, I'm going to show you two different methods for how to factory reset the HTC 10. This first method is called the soft factory reset. And to do this, we need to launch the settings application. We're going to scroll down and then tap on the backup and reset option. And then at the very bottom, you're going to see a factory data reset option. Now, if you have an account added to this, you will also see your account right here. So from here we just need to tap on the reset phone option. We're going to put in our pin pattern or password. And then it's going to ask you one more time if you want to do a factory data reset. Just tap on OK. And then it's going to do a reboot to reset it. It doesn't take that long. After that reboot, we're going to see it go back into the typical Android activation page because all of our data has been erased. So our account is no longer attached to the HTC 10. Now this is the regular Android apps are optimizing. This is what you'll see whenever you first boot up your HTC 10. Now everyone who is needing to do a factory reset might not be able to access Android. And that's why they have what is called a hard factory reset. Now these two different factory reset methods are both the same. The only difference is how you access the reset. So for the secondary method, we're going to first need to boot into download mode. So we're going to need to completely power off the HTC 10. And then we're going to press and hold the power button and the volume down buttons at the same time. 
We're going to continue holding these two buttons through this first H HTC logo until we get into download mode. From here, we're going to press the volume down button two times until it highlights the reboot to bootloader option. Then press the power button to select it. Once we are in fast boot mode, which is also known as bootloader mode, we're going to press the volume down button three times until we highlight the boot to recovery mode option. And then we're going to press the power button to select this. Once we get to the recovery mode splash screen, you have a certain amount of time before you actually get into the other menu. If you sit at this screen for too long, you will reboot the HTC automatically. So from here, we're going to press and hold the power button and then press the volume up button once. Once we get to this menu, you can let go of the power button and now we are at the Android recovery menu. So from here we're going to press the volume down button until we highlight the wipe data slash factory reset option. Then we can simply press the power button to select it. Press the volume down button to highlight the yes option because we do know that we're going to wipe all of the user data. Then press the power button again to confirm. As you can see at the bottom it's going to say wiping data. It's going to take a little bit of time just like it did before. And then we're going to get back into this Android recovery menu. So from here we're just going to press the power button since the reboot system now option is already highlighted we just press the power button to restart the HTC 10 and then we're going to boot back up into Android from here when you boot back up into Android this way it's going to be just as if you pulled the HTC 10 out of a box so just like before it's going to go through the app optimization screen and then it will go and then it will take you to the Android activation screen. This first boot up will take a little bit of time, again just like before. It's actually having to set up Android again. And as you can see we are back at the app optimization screen.